Hello and welcome back to Everything Gaming and today you join me for another Forzathon guide. Now before we get stuck in I just want to say a big thank you to everyone who responded last week uh, when I asked during the Forzathon video if you guys were experiencing sort of lots of game crashes and bugs and glitches. Um, you guys really really did sort of come together and let me know what's going on uh, and I'm just glad that I'm not the only one who's suffering with any of these problems because my game does occasionally crash more than ever you know it's never really crashed before but uh going a bit off topic um i also want to say a massive thank you to everyone who's recently subscribed we've just gone over 8,000 subs which is fantastic so i will be doing a giveaway for that now anyway i don't want to waste too much of your time so let's go and get stuck into this week's forzathon now this week's one's really easy and to do it in it wants you to use an extreme off-road car now these are the options available so i went with a 2012 bowler ex R or a EXRS sorry now I do recommend tuning it just because it's a bit easier so I have three available but the one I'm using is the middle of the range so the share code is 977-651-030 it's an S1 class and it's really really fun to use now the first challenge here wants you to complete five cross-country series events in your extreme off-road vehicle which again is super super easy now I recommend heading over to the Ambleside Rush Cross Country and the reason for that is because of course we have a race created for you guys to use. Now it's called Quick and Easy Win and the share code is 622-388-275 and I'm sure that some of you guys have used this one before. It's super super easy and all you have to do is just drive as slow as you want or as fast as you want to the finish line. The AI go off on their own little road trip into a brick wall and you don't have to worry about them and you can do that on whatever difficulty you want five times super easy. Now the second challenge here again really easy just wants you to get two stars or more on a speed zone. Now for this one again I'd recommend using the forest green speed zone. So two stars on here is only hitting 75 mile an hour or three stars is 90 mile an hour. And it's really, really easy. So it's basically just measuring your average speed. Now, it, I would recommend having a tune on whatever vehicle you're using unless it's sort of naturally quite fast. But three stars on here, and especially in this Bowler EXRS is super duper easy and it will not take that long either it's probably about 10 15 seconds so we wipe that challenge off nice and easily now the final one here just wants you to get 10 ultimate wreckage skills in your extreme off-road vehicle and again this is nice and easy now ex uh, ultimate wreckage skill is basically when you tally a chain of numerous wreckage skills when you smash into various objects so you can do this really anywhere on the map but i'd recommend heading to the greendale airstrip where there is a nice variety of objects to smash into now of course they have to be destructible objects and not like a solid wall um, so anything like fences cones bushes roadworks even the sp <laughs> even the little speed trap thing there you know anything that you can smash that will basically get you a wreckage skill and you just want to tally them up as quickly as possible to get the ultimate wreckage skill now it always does well to sort of vary what you're smashing into so if you go to a fence then a cone uh, then some bins or something else that's always good instead of just constantly smashing into the same fence because sometimes that doesn't work um, as much as that would be fun to do it doesn't always work that way but again if you go to an area that is densely populated with lots of smashable objects such as this airfield or even Edinburgh itself there's lots of things to smash into there you'll really be able to ace this challenge now if you've basically smashed into almost anything i'd recommend sort of resetting head back to the uh, horizon festival hub and then come back out to the location a lot of it should have respawned so you can go over again but 10 of them probably won't take too long i think i get about five or so in this sort of short two three minute clip so it is fairly easy and again i would recommend using a fairly quick car to complete it in just in case the objects that you're trying to smash into are a sort of greater distance apart so it just means that you'll be able to get it over and done with a lot quicker now if you guys are struggling with any of the challenges please do let me know down below and i will always try my best to help you out um, but apart from that if you're new to the channel i would very much appreciate if you could subscribe and if this video did help you out don't forget to drop a like as well but apart from that folks i want to wish you all the best make sure you stay safe and take care